Tonight, unelected Labour and Liberal Lords have defeated a financial matter passed by the elected House of Commons, and David Cameron and I are clear that this raises constitutional issues that need to be dealt with. However, it has happened, and now we must address the consequences of that. I said I would listen, and that's precisely what I intend to do. I believe we can achieve the same goal of reforming tax credits, saving the money we need to save to secure our economy, while at the same time helping in the transition. That is what I intend to do at the autumn statement. I'm determined to deliver that lower welfare, higher wage economy that we were elected to deliver and the British people want to see. But you've had a very clear message from the Lords tonight about the need to do something quite drastic, potentially. What will your transitional measures be? And you've talked very strongly about the House of Lords. Will you take action against them to punish them? Well, let's be clear. Unelected Labour and Liberal Lords have voted down a matter passed by the elected House of Commons that raises constitutional issues. And David Cameron and I are clear they will need to be dealt with. How? What will you do? Well, look, you will see the uh, approach we will take. On tax credits, I said I would listen to the concerns that have been raised, and that's precisely what I will do. I think we can achieve the same goal of reforming these tax credits, securing the money we need to ensure our economy is safe, and at the same time helping in the transition to these changes. And I will set out how we achieve that at the autumn statement, because we were elected to deliver this lower welfare, higher wage economy, and that is precisely what we're going but to do. But Chancellor, you also said this was a judgment call, and it was your judgment, and it turned out to be wrong. That's damaging for you, isn't it? Well, let's be clear. Labour and Liberal Lords, who are not elected, have voted against measures in a Conservative budget, and that raises constitutional issues. I think what people want to know is how we're going to approach the tax credits issue. I said I would listen, and we are going to listen to the concerns that have been raised, and I've set out the approach we'll take.